Hi, my name is Rebecca. I'm one of the admins at the Etsy Search Help Facebook group, and I'm also the shop owner behind Possum Crochet. And I wanted to take a minute today to talk about um, an exercise that you can do um, to help you get into the mindset of a buyer. When you're talking about SEO terms, you want to think of words that people are actually going to search for in Etsy. Um, so one thing you can do to kind of separate yourself from your products, your shops, and get your um, yourself into that buyer mindset is, you know, think of someone um, that you might want to buy a gift for and go through the actual Etsy search process. Um, and the reason you're doing this is to um, kind of look at your own buying um, habits or shopping habits and go from there. Um, so, for example, I have a friend. Um, let's see. She has like four cats, so <laughs> she's kind of addicted to cats. Um, so let's say I want to go find something for her, and I'm going to do like cat lover gift. I don't know what I want yet. I'm kind of thinking, what do I want to get her? What could I get her? <clears throat> okay, and this is going to show me a huge variety of products, but you know, I'm already thinking, I don't know what I want. I'm just kind of browsing, um, and then I'm I'm kind of going from here, you know. Obviously, there's shirts and stuff, but maybe I don't know her size, or there's these little cute balls, um, <laughs> but I, mean, I don't know what she's got, or if she's got room in her house. There's jewelry. I'm not sure if she likes jewelry, but oh, there's an ornament. You know, everybody likes ornaments. Maybe, you know, I'm going to go something like that. Maybe now I've decided just from browsing through this super quick, you know, the kind of things that I might want for her. <clears throat> so... Maybe I've decided, okay, I want a Christmas gift for her. I don't want to do that. I want to do cat ornaments. And you see what I've done already is I've gone from a generic search to a specific search. And this is kind of what your buyers are going to be doing. Um, so this is why people um, say a lot of the times, you know, you don't necessarily want to um, target words like cat or, you know, sometimes the gift ones, I've, I've heard people say they work well for them, but I, I personally have never had a whole lot of luck with gifts, um, you know, tags that say gifts in them. Um, but again, some people, if they're working for you, that's great. Keep it that way. If they're, if you're looking for something to do, though, again, a lot of people start off with those, you know, gift for her type tags, and then they get more specific once they, once they know what they're um, thinking of, once they get some ideas from that main page, because there are just so many things there. So now that I'm on to cat ornaments, okay, I'm thinking, well, I don't know, I don't want to get personalized ones with the names because, you know, she's got four cats and I don't want to get four different ones. Uh, her cats don't look like that. She's got all different color cats. You know, again, you're just kind of going through here thinking, what do I want? Okay, funny grumpy cat one. That's kind of cute. Um, again, here at this point, you're just kind of going through and looking. <clears throat> And, you know, you're seeing a lot of stuff. Um, again, she's not really Siamese. These are kind of cute. And it looks like she's going to maybe more than one there. No, personalized painted. So I don't really want personalized ones. So see how I'm, I'm looking. Okay, these are cute. I looked at the photo and then I looked, okay, painted, personalized. You know, I'm, I'm looking a little bit at, this is why these first few words of your description are important because you look at the photo, the photo catches your attention, and then you look straight here at the description. And a lot of people will just keep browsing. Or sorry, it's a description, not title. <laughs> I apologize. I haven't had my coffee yet. I'm trying to do this before I get my kids off to school. <clears throat> All right. So continuing on. So this one's kind of neutral. You know, she's got some. She's got, I think, two black cats and an orange. Maybe three black cats and an orange. I don't remember. This one's also cute. She's got an orange cat. So I could go. Again, it's also personalized, but you know. I could open this one up, and I'm the kind of person who opens up 18 million tabs, so I can go right back to that search page. Let's see. Only one left. Mm -hmm. Okay, but see, look, I, I go through here, I see she's got all those names on there. I love that she's got this little photo here. So I would probably have to read through this and see, you know, if this is right for me. If this is right for my friend. <clears throat> and go from there. And that's my buying process. You know, some people will go ahead and add that to their cart so they know it's there. Some people will keep that tab open. Some people will do other things. 
<clears throat> let's just go back to one. See, this lady's got this one, and it's, it's kind of tempting to me because this one's um, definitely more along the lines of what I was thinking, something generic without a name. But it's only got those two photos, so it's hard for me to tell, you know, how big it is or uh, anything like that. <coughs> Excuse me. But it's cool that she says it's, like, hand-done in her kiln. Makes me very interested in it. So this is, again, my buying process, but just to give you an idea. And I see she's got these other ones and I kind of like this pose better. So I might come over here, grab this one. Yeah, I mean, I like her stuff and you know, um, she's got some great reviews that pop up on here. I would probably go through and just double check, you know, this whole section here, but this is probably what I would get for my friend, something like this. So that was my buying process. And you know, what are you noting in this process? What I want you to do, is um, you know do something like this think of an actual person you want to buy for and go through this process of searching for someone and kind of do it for two or three different people do it for your friends do it for your kids do it for your pets do it for anything um, do it for your mom your grandma it doesn't matter uh, but think about what are you searching why how many pages are you going through um, when you're uh, pulling up those listings? Um, like, I um, see, I did the ornament one. Let's see, in really broad terms, when you're going through these listings, what is popping out at you? Take a minute to look. Okay, you know what photos really strike your eye this one again i couldn't really see i understand what they're doing but you know it didn't really pop out to me when it's on the same page as these which photos are are catching your attention and when you you do um you know that something's catching your attention you know what is the next thing you do like this one really caught my attention what is this and then i look here at the title recycled art frame dragonfly so again you know think about your your process here what are you doing when you buy because this is what your customers are doing too and this takes one step away from your products. We have this tendency to like personalize everything and you know we 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 take everything um personally because as creators, you know, it's our work. <laughs> but this this kind of process of of taking um a step back helps you look more objectively at the whole buying process. What a buyer's thinking, what they're doing, you know, how they're refining their search results you know, what they're seeing on this shopping page, what things are catching their eye, what information you want to know. You know, maybe you click on something, you're like, I need to know the size of this. Is this really tiny? Is this really big? You know, and then you're gonna look through, you're gonna look through those photos. And you know, for me, for example, you know, okay, you only have two photos and that's, these are super crystal clear, but I, I'm visual, I wanna see more pictures. And then I have to go through and read. And if it's long, I tend to skim through it. So these are processes that, you know, <clears throat> you, you, I think, really get a better feel for when you do it yourself. And that helps you then um, take a step um, forward in your own shop because you can apply these principles and these ideas that you're learning um, just from doing this, this shopping exercise to your own shop. If you're noting, okay, for me, you know, these two photos aren't enough. I need to go check my own and make sure I've got photos in each one. You know, I was wondering about the size, so maybe I need to go check my photos and make sure my photos have, you know, size things here. If it's difficult for me to scan through these um, descriptions and I'm finding that's a problem, I need to make sure my descriptions are, are um, <clears throat> laid out clearly so people know right away where to find the information they need. So those are just a few examples. Um, I really highly recommend going ahead and, and doing this a couple times. Just put yourself into the buyer's um, perspective by actually pretending like you want to go buy something for someone, trying to come up with ideas, refining that search and seeing what you come up with. Um, take some notes and then uh, when you are taking those notes and you're, and you're trying to figure out, you know, like what's um, an issue for me as a buyer, uh, then take those and apply those to your shop and your listings. So I hope that was um, helpful. I hope you find the exercise helpful. Uh, if there's anything else that you guys have questions about or would recommend a video about, uh, feel free to comment and let me know. Uh, in the meantime, I hope to get back with more useful videos soon. Um, thank you for watching and I wish you all the best of luck with your shops. Bye.